So it is early in the hour. We started right on time. And uh, in case you are just joining us, we have Hi Ho Buffalo on WEF Sessions tonight here on WEFT 90.1 FM Champagne. John McMahon has been here before. And I know we had Cameo Turret on the, bo on the show before. I don't think Frank was here when they played. No, but I wasn't in the band at that time. It is still a connection. In fact, uh, I think they may have changed bassists once like during a WEF Sessions. So... <laughs> Uh, we, we have the totally audio to prove it. Now, uh, why don't we just, for the sake of equality and uh, not over, why don't we just introduce everybody, if we could do a roll call. I don't know if we want to do this, do this like family feud where I ask you to go down the line or 
Uh, but however you want to do this, just so everybody gets their 15 minutes. Caitlin, do you want to just introduce everyone? Sure. My name is Caitlin Mullen. This is Frank Horger. Uh, on the drums, we have William Mullen. Sorry, people on the radio can't see us. That is the most um, enthusiastic waving I think I've ever <laughs> seen at an overhead mic on the radio. Frank Horger was playing lead guitar. Um, Christine Horger is playing organ. And uh, John is playing bass. And later on, guitar. Yep. Yes, he's a man of many talents. Now, I know about the time I first saw the name Hi Ho Buffalo, how, uh, how did this project, if, if you don't mind, come together? And uh Well, um, originally, this was just stuff that I was writing, and my wife happens to play organ, so I suckered her into playing some of my songs. So you two were playing together even before... Uh, yes. That's uh, convenient. It was sort of a yeah. sort of a concerted effort to try and write in a Western, semi-Western style, just as a songwriting exercise. And then we met Caitlin and William, and it was awesome. We had an interim drummer and bass player for a little while. We've had... We've sort of followed the cameo turret model and had multiple <laughs> bass players. Well, certainly if it formed around a marriage, yeah. that's... <laughs> It's true. <laughs> so, yeah, we found them as a couple, and that was awesome. You know, we only had to coordinate two schedules, essentially. <laughs> and then we met John, and everything gelled, and we thought, we better play some gigs. Uh, he's just a great guy and holds the low end down very solidly. How could we not play some gigs? So. Now, since this is a university community, I have to ask, do you also answer to Hi-Ho Bison, or uh, <laughs> is that... Yeah, absolutely. We're equal-minded. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. don't have to refer to it as genus and species. It's not, <laughs> it's not that formal. I didn't know if the rhyme scheme trumped the uh, the uh, zoological I, correctness I think it's, or whatever. Uh, Illinois Prairie Pride. There we yeah, go. We like to think that we're mid-western. Should get a prairie net account yeah. just for. Uh, we should do that Illinois song. <laughs> <laughs> we're not getting. No, we no, we have our encore if we need uh, it. Yes. <laughs> oh man. So yes, I, I left my folk hat at home. So uh, coming up in the hour, I think uh, they have some tour dates to stay tuned for. We do. And uh, uh, the next thing we've got is October 25th, and it's a costume party at the Rose oh. Bowl. So come and bring your costume, and we're going to do sort of a circus theme. There's going to be an eating contest, so anyone out there interested in eating for speed, that's... <laughs> now, is this the sort of show where if people show up and, and they're not in costume, they have to leave, or is it I just... I think they have to drink more. Ah. <laughs> That could, bobbing for apples in vodka. Yes, yes. You know. That uh, game never lasts very long. <laughs> yeah, you could bob for pears, right? But you have to go to the bottom because they don't float. <laughs> uh, uh, pear brandy? No. I, I have to go to bed. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> so we should play another song. Then. Actually, how about three? Okay. Um, so, because we're uh, running short, this is a song called Short on Time. Short on time, short on time, long on living, long on living, short on money, long on things I want to do. And I called you my sweetie pea And I convinced you to roam But now I've almost convinced myself And I can build a home Told me not to tell lies. My father, he taught me to play guitar. They both said I can be happy, never promised anymore. Sure. 
short on the time. Short on the time. Long on living. Long on living. Short on money. Long on things I want to do. And I. Showed on you. Iron skillets. <laughs> yeah. And ice boxes. <laughs> oh man. It's not hoarding if it's got value, right? <laughs> Nothing made the plastic ever made me smile. I prefer some character and I don't mind if it's rough. You can keep your main condition. I prefer that old stuff. modern second hand. I got a house full of antique chairs. None of them match, but I don't care. You can park your rear anywhere. I prefer that old stuff. I just like that old stuff. I prefer that old stuff. I just like that old stuff. You 
and keep your Teflon pan and your cooking spray. Make my bacon in old cast iron. Save the grease for another day. I got an ice box that's full of ice. Need a hammer and a chisel just to get inside. Don't hold much, but it suits me just fine. I prefer that old stuff. I just like that old stuff. I prefer that old stuff. I just like that old stuff. Some folks get their gravy straight out of a can. Once you've had that homemade kind, the other stuff is hard to stand. Never bought a blanket for my bed. Got a homemade quilt that I use instead. Twenty-five more out in the shed. I prefer that old stuff. I just like that old stuff. I prefer that old stuff. I just like that old stuff. Old stuff. Old stuff. Some days I get confused about the modern style. Nothing made of plastic ever made me smile. I prefer some character and I don't mind if it's rough. You can keep your mint condition. I prefer that old stuff. I just like that old stuff. I prefer that old stuff. I just like that old stuff. <laughs> and now we're going to play an old time song. Another one. And do the. I don't know, or make some noise with it. <laughs> Tennessee mare, <laughs> good horses. Well, that 
Tennessee stood as long as he in the color of the sand and his eyes were green. He had the gun and he had the blood and there never was a horse like Tennessee stood. I think this is exactly what I said last time, but in case you're just joining us, you're listening to Hi Ho Buffalo on WEF Sessions here on WEFT 90.1 FM Champaign. And uh, Frank, are you designated spokesman tonight? Is there? Uh, everybody, do you take turns? Everybody can talk. <laughs> I just plug stuff. I just, I'm looking at who has a mic, and uh, I guess everybody has a mic, but yours is at such a funky angle that uh, it would... It would feel mean to, you know, that's how Louie Louie happened, is the guy was screaming into a ceiling mic at 3 in the morning. So, anyhow, uh, you mentioned October 25th. Uh, it, do you have a full roster that you can give out on air of uh, upcoming shows? Oh, well, uh, yes. We, well, we're doing a private party on the 26th, so... Everybody come to the private party! <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I don't know if you're invited, but... Uh, Sorry, I... Then, I uh, <laughs> yeah. And on November 9th, we're playing at Mike and Molly's uh, with Jared Bartman. Ah, and you he's know been him. on the show several yeah. times. Um, that's all that's coming to mind at the moment. Uh, but we're available for private parties, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yes, but the Halloween gig, October 25th at the Rose Bowl and November 9th at Mike and Molly's. Those would be the ones in recent memory do of you, me. Since it's Rose Bowl, do you know, I mean, there's Halloween, like Dracula and Frankenstein's monster. There's Halloween, like sexy zombie, sexy waitress, sexy axe murderer. Um, do you know the approximate, uh, is it like quaint well, Halloween? No, or? well, it's, it's sort of a costume party. So I think the general theme is a costume, but our show is going to be sort of a circus theme don't feel that you have to do circus, but we'd love it if you did. Uh, but I think we would take any and all. What did you say? Uh, zombie Dracula. and Dracula. So and sexy and dung beetle is not necessary to. Uh, and yes, I think that would all be great. You know, um, you could Rose Bowl. You know, you could come as a NASCAR driver or a shot of whiskey. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> only if it's early just, times. Just, <laughs> just not as a lit cigarette, right? Yes, please not. <laughs> please. <laughs> well, be a scary a costume for anybody uh, who's been fined yeah, before. Actually, you can be a lit cigarette outside, out the back door. <laughs> actually, I, um, a local barista used to live in Utah, and he said growing up in Utah, his father always told him to dress up as a cup of coffee. <laughs> and now that he's a barista and doesn't live in Utah anymore, he, he gets why that would be intimidating yes. but uh, uh, yeah. uh, and I, I do have oh, friends man. in Utah listening who I believe also think it's funny so oh, if, a, if anybody is deeply offended by references to uh, caffeine suspended in a hot solution then uh, 
then I will tone it down. But, <laughs> but oh, yeah, man. scary is in the eye of the beholder. So is sexy, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's true, right? Isn't that how the Aliens franchise works? Uh, I've Two never heard one. of sexy chest <laughs> puncturing. I think he was referring to scary. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, as I said, okay. if scary and sexy are both in the eye of the beholder, I, I just figure all bets are off. <laughs> I, I only use either word italicized at this point. <laughs> now, um, I don't think we've given out, y you said that you're available for private parties, but we haven't given any kind of booking information, oh, website, anything we're like on that. on Facebook, Hi Ho Buffalo, Facebook, in the interwebs, you know, in the ether of the name. H-I-H-O-B-U-F-F. -F. Buffalo. No hyphen, no underscore, no, no pound sign, punk percentage. I don't. But you know the great thing about Hi Ho Buffalo as a name is I think there's only one. So, <laughs> however you tried, you how did you would manage to be first? I I don't know. I think it'd be great to have a name like that and be Hi Ho Buffalo seventy four just because. Oh yeah. The the other seventy three got there first. We would welcome a cover band of my songs. <laughs> and it's like nope, none of us was born in nineteen seventy four. We just wanted to get it before anybody else did. Yeah. Have you ever known people, you know, they have 83 in their email address and they're born in like 1991 and it's like, what's that about? <laughs> yeah, that's great. The band wasn't taken, but the URL was. Right. So. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's the case with a lot of things at this point. Uh, you, it's not even a conversation to have on air. <laughs> oh, man. And don't, don't Google the word fluffy unless you... Uh, uh, okay, I think we want to play a song that's... I like that idea. <laughs> fluffy, fluffy songs. Oh, no, no, that's not my fluffy song. <laughs> um, if by fluffy you mean fuzzy guitar, then I like that. I, I mean the band Fluffy. Oh. Uh, British band, 90s, uh, Black Eye was their non-hit single, I guess. I don't know it. Uh, Tower Records was pushing them without much. Did they cover Waylon Jennings? Then I would Always. <laughs> Every song he did in Follow That Bird, they covered faithfully. <laughs> Man. All right, wherever you want to go with this, I, I'm going to defer to the uh, How the about talent. if we pull a Monty Python and say, now for something completely different? <laughs> um, yeah, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that this next song is dedicated to my wife, Christine. Not the same Christine who's here tonight. No. But um, it is our wedding anniversary today. She's working tonight, so doing this song for her instead.
that song. <laughs> While you're tuning, I do have a suggestion. Yes. You mentioned uh, your wife and uh, someone in the audience. I think we should just dedicate tonight's show to Christine and... Uh, I think that's a great idea. Not yeah. concern ourselves with too many details. <laughs> I like that. Thank you, Todd. Christine, nice this soul. show is for you. <laughs> I think we owe a lot to Christine. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes. The only detail I can think of, apropos of our scary, sexy conversation, uh, <laughs> if you're a Plymouth, not you. But any Christine <laughs> who has... A face. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, we don't want to be too broad. I mean, there, there is such a thing as, you know, it's like, you look nice. Oh, thank you. Well, I mean, like, your nostrils look nice. It's like, <laughs> no, that's, that's too specific a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we were taught in seventh grade never to tell somebody they look nice, to, to be, sp you know, oh, your collar looks nice. It's like, you just ruined the entire... <laughs> Your nostrils look very nice, Todd. Thank you. I take great pride in them. I just had them sandblasted. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, true story. I, uh, <laughs> you know cardamom, right? Well, when I was little, my mom would have me smell spices in the spice cabinet. Was that your punishment? No. Until one time, I went... <laughs> and inhaled half the bottle of cardamom. And I, I've never had any interest in even trying cocaine. It burned so badly. <laughs> I don't want any powder up my nose ever, no matter how legal, no matter how affordable. Oh, my goodness. It was the most excruciating experience. <laughs> don't do this at home, kids. I love cardamom in mean, food, just not yeah. up my nose. <laughs> I don't really like anything up my so nose. So how about snuff? Uh, still no. do that? Still. <laughs> <laughs> I was young enough. I, I just never got in the habit of yeah. putting uh, you have to be in a Kleenex or something. I, I suppose. I. All I'm saying is, if all kids uh, had cardamom up their noses, we would have no cocaine users in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to transition to a song. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to play cocaine. <laughs> Uh, we'll play the antithesis of cocaine. This is a song called Hard Hard Work. I an original? Yes. Awesome. Uh, we have a couple of those. <laughs> But you need 
Okay, Corral, and then we'll do really bad. We'll play really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>
damn hot, but it's worth it all right. And there's nothing that can come between us if we're honest and we trust. Nothing but one another, disappointment and lust. This town, they're not talking. This town, they won't work it out. Forgiveness was offered, but not taken. No comfort, no doubt. Two souls tied broken together. Two hearts thrown out in the night. Two pens sanded on the paper. She gained a lover and he lost a wife. So which really? one of us looks the buffalo-ist? <laughs> oh, I, I think don't it's know. you, John. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. <laughs> I think you should apologize, Frank. I meant it in a good way. <laughs> it's like buff and lowest. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that, yes. that, then thank you. I really... <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, that kind of got, got that kind, chin. Of, kind of a buffalo man yeah, going there. Hair on his chin, oh. yeah. Very All right, really bad. Cause I'm bad, 
talk? I, I How much time do we have, Todd? Uh, hopefully time for me to rearrange the furniture. It's um, 10.50. Yeah, oh, wow, that's uh, oh, six minutes later than I thought it said in the booth. Um, why don't we do one more song and then talk after that one? Sounds great. Okay. All right. You're listening to WEFT 90.1 FM. Well, we got to play trucker song because we consider ourselves semi-Western, and that's where we get the semi from. Uh, you've been punished. <laughs> one, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> trucker and he was loaded Piggies in the bag were screaming loud Screaming like the tires on his big rig Pretty soon those red and blue lights chased us out of town Well, that gun under the radio was loaded Ammo in a box next to my feet Next to a mason jar out in plain view Made me start to wonder what was under my seat Well, pretty soon I was feeling uncomfortable Wondering what the hell I should do I'm on the cab with the trucker gone mad And a trail of red, white, and blue Now that I'm gone Wish I was home
a tear come to his eye as he said i'm gonna be a poor man but i guess that's better than being locked up i only hope that you will understand it stop the truck and he walk to the back put three jugs of moonshine into the tank Hopped in the cab and he put it in the gear and said, Son, it's time to get the hell out of here. We got a guy. And I miss my home. And we left 18 trails of fire down that road. Well, it's time we got a guy. All right, well, as we tie together loose ends, I have uh, all sorts of good news. Uh, first off, big hand again for Hi-Ho Buffalo. I, I was afraid for a second we were going to have a modest medium hand for Hi-Ho Buffalo, just because everyone's so meek and polite. Maybe not meek, but polite. <laughs> oh, now, uh, and they do still have one more song. I, uh, I'm, I'm not shooing them off in saying that, but uh, just so you know, uh, you have reason to go on listening, let me tell you what's coming up. Uh, we have some special guest stars who just walked in, and uh, would you guys like to uh, just announce who you are? We are two people. One of us is Lynn O'Brien. And the other is Nick Damaris. <laughs> I figured I could have done like with Christine and just said Lynn and Nick are here, but... Uh, you know, people might have gotten crazy ideas, so I, I thought it was better to clarify. Now, uh, so that is, Local 901 is normally not live, but we're going to have some uh, live commentary, maybe some music, I, I expect a little. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. And uh, I also promised some new Elsinore. And then remember, we still have uh, like two hours of music from 1994, part one tonight uh, from around the world. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Hi Ho Buffalo, one more time, costume party, Rose costume Bowl. Po party October 25th at the Rose Bowl, and Mike and Molly's November 9th, opening it for Jared Bartman. Trick or treat, no cardamom. Yes, please, come in a costume. If you've never been to the Rose Bowl, it's amazing. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's authentic. Can, can we say it's across from Courier Cafe? Is that about? Yeah, yes. yeah, right yeah. across from Courier Cafe. I figure for the uninitiated who or do not. Or down the alley from Black Dog. There, oh, yeah. also good. Yes. And there's quite a bit of parking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we always encourage people on WEF to hang out in dark alleys. Yes. <laughs> if it leads to the Rose Bowl, you're on the right road. I, it's, is it really such a dark alley if it leads to the Rose Bowl? It's true, Maybe right? Not. Only if you're leaving away, right? True. Mm. I'm scared now. Yes, and Mike and Molly's, you know, it's sort of a dark alley, but it's right next to WEFT. So <laughs> if you're listening, then you should know where it is. You, you should just come on over tonight and uh, <laughs> hope that you don't get arrested for trespassing, I guess. I don't know. That's not really very good advice. Uh, anyhow, uh, thanks to everybody. Thanks to the studio audience. Thanks to the band. Thanks to Mike Feldman, Mike Ingram, Lori, uh, yeah, Mike, camera the crew. Man letting us hear each other. Jason. It's awesome. Thank you, Mike. So, uh, yeah, everybody, please stay tuned for more music after this. Librarian? All right. This is a song about picking up my wife at a library. <laughs> To the library just 
just an hour ago I saw a pretty girl I never seen before It really made me a thing So I had to go back and take another look I thought I might as well check out a book Thank you. 